Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining here exclusively on the Welcome at this time, my guest, the Chief Operating Officer of the WWE, the game, Triple H. Hunter, it's the first of the year, and we're officially on the road to WrestleMania. Our current champion, Brock Lesnar, has torn through the competition ever since winning the championship from John Cena at SummerSlam last year. Will the WWE Championship be on the line at the Royal Rumble in less than three weeks' time? And if so, who will Lesnar's opponent be? Oh, so we get to choose. Wow, okay. This is a 2K14 story, guys. We've gone back in time. If you have any really good stories in 2K14 you want me to play, make sure to let me know. Make sure to pat the like button if you want to see more of these. Oh, man. I don't want to give Big Show the opponent, though. So I'm just going to give it to Cena. All right, we're just going to stop. One, two, three, stop. It's Cena. Well, Cole, it's going to be John Cena. Oh, shit. So on the network... It's John Cena facing Brock Lesnar. It's it's Cena versus Brock 3. It's got to be better than main event on I... Wait a minute, what? There's no denying that Brock has been a wrecking ball, destroying everyone in his past, but at the Royal Rumble, John Cena will finally get his op rotunary to face Brock for the World Heavyweight Championship. If he, falls, if he fails, not only will he never get another opportunity in the foreseeable future... We also not let him participate in the 2015 Royal Rumble Royal Rumble <laughs> Royal Rumble match. This is his last chance. It's all or nothing. So all or nothing for John Cena, just like main event and I. I mean, do you care to comment on Cena's contractual situation? Where does that his contract is set to expire at the end of the month? Will you be renewing his contract? The, the word is. The word from who? John Cena has been a part of this company for almost 15 years now. He is a mainstay in the WWE. He isn't going anywhere. Fans will be able to see him every week here on Monday Night Raw and on the WWE Network for $9.99. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you for your time, Hunter. So John Cena, apparently he's a mainstay of the WWE, just like the network is, and just like main event on that network. It's a mainstay, right? Oh, shit. So Triple H backstage... Wait, wait, John Cena again? Seriously? How many times are you going to give him my opportunity, Hunter? At the WWE Championship, he's had at least four one-on-one -on -one matches with Brock. Do you know how many I've had? Zero. None. Nada. You say you do what's best for business, but what's best for business is having the face of the WWE as the World Heavyweight Champion. So what are you going to do to rectify this situation? You're still calling yourself the face of the WWE. Truth is, Randy, we backed you. Gave you all the resources you need to be the face of this company, but you never got the job done. If you want me to ever consider you for the World Heavyweight Championship, you're going to have to do something to impress me. Something big. This is a very unique storyline. I don't think I've played one like this, where one I actually get to choose and there's more dialogue. Watch what you wish for, Hunter. You just might get it. Wow, so a little bit more unique storyline. I like these kind. I'm a fan. It almost it, it seems to me like it almost feels uh oh here we go. We're finally at Raw. Finally showing up. Do we have a match or we have to be Randy Orton? Do we have to do something big? Are we about to show the world why we're the greatest thing in the world or what? Please welcome my guest at this time, the world's largest athlete, The Big Show. Big Show, how do you feel about the COO naming John Cena the number one contender to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and granting him a title opportunity against Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble? Look at me, Justin. Take a good, long look at me. I'm over seven feet tall. I'm over 400 pounds. I'm the largest athlete in the world. This isn't a catchphrase or a gimmick. It's a fact. John Cena getting another championship match is a joke. When John Cena gets his ass handed to him by Brock, I'll be waiting to pick up the pieces. And if by some miracle he does beat Lesnar, that's fine by me. I plan on winning the Royal Rumble and going to WrestleMania to face the champion. And again, there may not be anything left of John Cena when I get through with him tonight. Wow, so Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. Looks like that's that's going to be the match that we're going to have to worry about or deal with. Is that what we're going to play or... Or are we just watching? Are we just getting all cutscenes? Either way, it doesn't really matter to me. We can do cutscenes. We can do full matches. 
And there's Brock. Looks like Brock Lesnar is coming out. Have a seat, champ. So Brock Lesnar coming out to scout his talent. We just have to pretend that uh, Cena didn't, or Cena was not the one that was here last year, right? I mean, uh, Big Show. That Brock Lesnar didn't face Big Show last year. Oh, man, it's so nice to see cutscenes again. I totally forgot all about cutscenes. We got John Cena going back in history, going back in time. It feels so weird to be holding this uh, 360 controller right now. It feels a little off-putting. So the main event, it's the big match, the one they always talk about. It's the main event. Big Show versus John Cena once again. Here we go. Ooh, that looks a little dark. Is that just me? I think that's just my monitor. Oh, man, it takes a while to get used to going back to these controls. Ah, actually, these are pretty simple controls. What am I talking about? I mean, the graphics. The faster striking, dude. Holy crap. After playing 2K... After playing 2K15, it's so weird to go back. Oh, get out of the way, Cena. All right, here we go. We gotta get, so we have to get a moderate torso. So we have to do as much damage as possible to Big Show's torso. Keep putting him on the mat. Got to get him red. We don't have to give him red head. We have to give him red torso. Man, the graphical difference in this game. Just looking at it now is insane. Oh, shit. Big Show just picks us up and throws us. I wonder what the cutscene is going to be. If Lesnar is going to come and nail us out. Or maybe not nail us, but like... Either lay us out, because we're only three weeks away, man. They've got to start building this feud. We're not that far away. Oh, man, they get up a lot faster. You just got to continue to stay on top of him. Jan! Did I turn off the HUD? Can I not see anything? Uh, visual presentation, HUD. General HUD. I got to turn the HUD back on. The only reason I actually turned HUD off... Um, was because we were, I was filming something. All right, there we go. Now we've got my HUD back. I was filming a, a Neville versus RVD storyline, and then 2K15 came out the next gen, and I decided to uh, scrap that project, but John Cena, here we go. Just keep beating down Big Show. We're headed to the main event. We're going to Royal Rumble. We're going to win that championship. It's Cena. As fast as we can win this. Just stay down. There we go. Five knuckle shuffle time from John Cena. Five knuckle shuffle. And now it's time to hit him with that attitude adjustment. Here we go. Come on, Big Show. Get up. Oh, I had to use the push up button. I totally forgot I was trying to press Y. He's got him up top. John Cena. Oh, that's such a slow AA. Attitude adjustment. Oh, his body is still yellow, though. We didn't do enough damage to him. Oh, shit. Cena goes flying. Come on, Cena. Keep it up. We got to get you to a moderate tour. So I thought for sure that I already did enough damage to him, but apparently not. Apparently, I'm not as cool as I thought I was. I'm just going to keep beating him down, then. I'm just going to keep pummeling. We're still at yellow. Oh, man, it just makes me realize that I haven't used limb targeting at all in WWE 2K15. Just going back now and using limb targeting, it, it's made me realize that I don't ever use it in the new one. All right, Cena. Oh, shoot. Big show. Running STO. Close line. How much more do we have to get? We only have a yellow. That's what we needed. Now we need another one of those. Come on, Cena. Keep keep nailing him down in that. There we go. All right. What's going to happen now? Cena's laid out Big Show. Uh oh, Big Show can't. Oh, no. Big Show's against the ropes. And here comes Brock Lesnar. But Brock takes out Cena. Brock Lesnar, the champion, is sending a message to John Cena, man. He's beating him down. He's trying to he's trying to end him. Oh, he's just stomping out Cena. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? By God, it's Randy. Randy Orton, dude. 
What is the Viper coming out for? Oh shit, holla 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 players, this match is now a tag team match. Are we gonna get a tag, are we about to get a tag team match? Oh shit, there's Randy. Randy was under the ring. You wanted something big? Well, Randy's about to deliver it. Randy, that son of a gun, was sneaking in the ring. And then an RKO to Big Show. Not Big Show. Did I just call did I just call Brock Lesnar Big Show? Randy Orton sending an empathetic statement. Emphatic statement to the world heavyweight champion. So Randy Orton has laid out Brock Lesnar. Where do we go from here? WWE 2K15. We'll be back. Life is COO in the next part.